right, so here he is, one of the better ground and pound guys we have in the sport here at present. There's just an efficiency and an accuracy to the way he approaches the ground strikes. No wasted motion out of this guy. Oh, it's, it's an art form, John. It's the way that he goes at his opponent, and the moment they hit the mat, he secures it. Oh, it's up. He doesn't rush. He takes his time. He knows that it does not take much in order to finish a fight. So he'll find his posture. You can't, he doesn't waste time with his head in the chest just punching. He finds posture. Once he finds posture, he can get momentum to land the big strike, then he moves position. And then he goes and he finds another strike. Before long, you see his opponent's face swelling. You see the eyes all split open and beat. It's truly, truly amazing to watch him and watch his approach to ground and pop. And great cardio allows him to stay heavy. We've seen a lot of fighters just struggle to buck him off. We'll see how it goes tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the U.S. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Joy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing so fast, so crisp. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Close guard. Choi gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Straight punch lands. Choi's kick is blocked. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Single collar tie there. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab. You see his opponent's head popping back every time he lands. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Nice. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Felder's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. All right, 
right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Close guard. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Good work from the top here by Chor. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You got to like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. What a tricky head kick. Straight right hand now just misses. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, big left. Try to establish that jab. Nice, nice. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big punch lands through the middle. Delder's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Flush right hand is true. Lance with the right hand. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. So unable to connect on the uppercut. All right, single collar tie now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Efficient with that jab, doubles up on it now. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Hard shots landing on both sides here. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Well, he's really starting to land a high number. Wow, actually 
got the takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity path to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Right hand punches the clinch. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just missed with that right hand. And he landed the right hand there. That's a really strong leg kick there by Choi. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Phil. Can't take many of those, you better check. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Boy, time clock. Just misses there with the left. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, nice jab. Whiffs on the right hand. Joy. Oh! Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Right hand punch. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh! Oh, he might be out of those five minutes. Stop, stop. Saved by the bell. That's the end of the round. You heard the horn, and it came just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, saved by the bell. Back to the stool. 60 seconds with which to recover. We'll see if his corner can keep his head in the fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Are you ready? Are you ready? Go fight! Nice kick. Choi's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice. Single collar tie now. job by Choi. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. He can't take any of those kicks. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Beautiful punch. Just missed with the left there. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind-up, no tell, just a brutal kick. 
He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Beautiful head kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Just misses with that Oh, man, look at that. Victor perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Both fighters back to their feet now. Trying to establish that jab once again. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Well, he misses with the left punch there. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Threw the punch, got to the target. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Good stick. you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so key. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Great work last round. You knocked him down. You show him you have the power to put anybody away. This round, let's go back to the same game plan. I want you to stay. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, next round is underway. And if you look at these Ready? two guys in between rounds, Ready? it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Straight right hand, no good. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches. Whoa! Wow. Wow. He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. 
Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 55 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When we